So what is your favorite hidden spot in Aarhus? I don't have exactly one hidden spot per se. However, there's one category of hidden spots that I really like in the city. There are a couple, maybe three or four, uh, tiny museums plotted around the city that I really like going to. They're not as extravagant, not as big. You can't spend hours in there, obviously, as you could in Aarhus or at Moscow Museum. But they have this really nice charm because they're usually curated by people who have a very strong passion for these almost niche subjects that the museums cover. One example would be the Viking Museum, which is sort of hidden away in the basement of a bank in the middle of the city. There's also the Antiquity Museum here at Aarhus University, which I really enjoy going to because despite its sort of a hidden location also in a basement, it just has so much charm and it's so um, well done in every aspect that you could even imagine. Uh, and usually those museums are not as crowded as the others. Obviously, um, they don't attract the same tourist crowds. One of the uh, small museums I really like is the Occupation Museum, located right next to the center of the city. It is uh, located underneath the Women's Museum, which is also a great museum, I gotta say. Um, but underneath there, there is the Occupation Museum. It's very tiny. Um, you could spend perhaps an afternoon down there, but what I really like about it, as I mentioned before, is the genuine passion of the people who work there. Uh, you might not even realize uh, like some of the stories that you can find from the Second World War, the Occupation in Denmark. Uh, if you just read, read, read on it on Wikipedia, you wouldn't get the same impression as some of these very personal stories that the curators at the museum are able to deliver to you. And it's also very, it's a very nice, not nice, but it's a very unique setting down there, where you really feel connected to this very dark spot in our history and past, in the, the history of Denmark and the history of Aarhus. Because usually, when you think about the Second World War and the occupation, you think of the grand aspect, you know, the war, the fighting, but you can all you can um, sometimes forget, you know, the little man, the little people, the people who had to carry on with their everyday in a relatively tiny city as Aarhus. How did they manage? What did they experience during this time? And I was very surprised when I went there uh, a few years ago, the hardships that even privileged people in a not so war torn country as Denmark, in a city as Aarhus um, managed to experience, but it's really, really interesting and uh, unfortunately hidden away, but that's part of the charm as well. My favorite uh, hidden spot in Aarhus is uh, Aarhus Stadium, also called uh, Sarah's Park. Because that's where the local football team AGF is playing their home games, and there's a really great atmosphere there every time. And they just had the best season for 22 years by winning the third place, so that's a really great place right now to be. 